the risk of having a BRCA1 gene in the general population is one out of 375 people. In the Jewish population, the risk of carrying a mutation in the BRCA1 or 2 genes is 1 in 40. We recommend that women and men of Ashkenazi Jewish descent that have a family history of cancer should definitely make an appointment at a clinical cancer genetics clinic to get evaluated regarding uh, having genetic testing. Secondly, it is reasonable for women of Ashkenazi Jewish descent to consider genetic testing even without a family history uh, for alterations in two specific genes, BRCA1 and 2. And the reason for that is because the frequency of mutations in those two genes among the Ashkenazi Jewish population is much higher than in the general population. I would say that only in the last few years there's been more awareness that you might be at risk even if there isn't a family member affected with breast cancer or other types of cancer. And this is something that if we have large families, we might be able to find uh, relatives who may have developed breast cancer, ovarian cancer, other types of cancer, in particular in a young age. But some families are very small. Some families have mostly male relatives. So it's very hard to ascertain whether this family has this gene uh, carried through it. If you've, you've got a family history of breast cancer that's concerning, or maybe you were diagnosed with a cancer earlier in life, and you want to look into the genetics, see if there's some identifiable change um, that might affect treatment decisions and could actually affect what your family members do. We want you to see a genetic counselor. Um, the, the testing has many ins and outs that need to be considered, and you need the expertise of somebody that's done a lot of this uh, to avoid confusion. Um, so get in to see a genetic counselor, generally found at your neighborhood breast center. Um, certainly here at Hopkins, we have genetic counseling professionals who are um, able to see you and, and help navigate that. So it's important for people to know that if they do carry the gene, there are things they can do about it. For example, they can have screening that's a little bit different than one that's recommended for the general population. They can have preventive surgeries. They can be screened for cancer that we do not usually screen for, such as pancreatic cancer. So I think it is important for the population to understand what the risks are in general and then what the risks are more specific for individual families. So one of the reasons why we are recommending testing um, for women and men of Ashkenazi Jewish descent is because we have screening and preventive strategies that could reduce the risk of cancer. The, the goal here, particularly in individuals who are cancer-free, is to either pick up a cancer earlier than would in, with conventional screening or reduce the risk of them getting cancer while maintaining their quality of life. 